Welcome everyone. In this project we are going to work with booleans. We're going to use a light bulb which can be on or off and booleans can be true or false or on and off or zero and one and so we'll work with a light bulb and then we'll use that light bulb to create a traffic light. Later on we'll also do some graphics by drawing a traffic light with red green and yellow bulbs and turning the traffic light on and off. So let's get started. In this lesson we are going to make a basic class for bulb. So let's begin by making a new project. You can either do this project with us in Eclipse or you can do it in Dr. Java which we've used in previous projects. The first thing we'll do is go to File, New, and create a Java project. We're going to name it traffic light and then we're going to click finish which is down here and then inside traffic light we will make a new class and we're going to call this a bulb and the basic parts of of each class are its instance fields, a constructor, and our um, assessors and mutators, and our um, other methods like calculations and two strings, which we'll get to in a minute. So, for a basic bulb, we want to know if it's on or off. So we'll say private boolean and we're going to name the variable on. And then for our constructor, we are going to say public bulb. And then when we create a bulb, we'll, we will either tell whether it's on or off. So we'll pass in that variable, so boolean on. And then so we're going to use the this keyword to refer back to the variable in this class. So our choices are either to name this local variable something different or use the this keyword so that when we set the local variable to the field variable it's referring back to um, the variable in the class. And so to do this we use the this keyword. And then we'll need our getters and setters. So we'll say public boolean is on and we'll return on. And then we want to make a setter. Uh, we want to, if it's off, we want the opposite. So we'll say public boolean is off. And in that case, we'll return the opposite, and we'll use the logical operator not, which is an exclamation point, and say that the variable is not on, which means the light's not going to be on. Some basic methods for the bulb is that uh, we might want to turn it on and off. So we'll create two methods for that. So we'll say public void turn on. And we'll set on to true. And this is your typical uh, Boolean variable, being that it's true or false. And then, so if it's off, we'll say public void turn off. And we'll set the on variable to false, which means the light's not on. And the last part of our meth uh, of our class is that we have two strings. So we'll say public string two string. And the reason for the two string is to report back um, the current in the current status of any of the variables of a of a class. And so in this case we only have one instance field, 
And when we call the toString method, we want to say whether the light is on or off. So we will say if on, then we want to um, say that the result, or we can do this in a couple of ways. We can say we can create a variable called result and say string result is equal to the light is on else string result is equal to the light is off and this has an error because we need a semicolon at the end of a statement and then this has an error it's saying that we need a return statement so at the end of the conditional before our closing cur curly brace we're going to return result This says um, one way to fix this is to instead of instantiating the variable here, we can do string result. And that should fix that error in the to string. So here we're in creating a variable, and then here we're instantiating it. Um, and setting it to a particular value, which in this case is a string that tells us if the light is on or off. All right, so that is our basic bulb class. And in our next session, we will use a runner. We'll create a runner to turn our light on and off.